the Russians are getting pretty brazen in their election interference to the point where they're just owning up to it and saying, not only did we do it in the past, we're gonna do it in the future. Now, this is according to Yevgeny Prigozhin, who is an oligarch in Russia, and he's commonly referred to as Vladimir Putin's chef. He also trained mercenaries <laughs> to fight mm -hmm. in Ukraine. Now, he said on a social media platform in Russia, these words verbatim, we have interfered in the US elections. We are interfering and we will continue to interfere carefully, accurately, surgically, and in our own way as we know how to do. Fascinating, okay, so that's just a clear admission. Which by the way, I mean, whether he admits it or not, of course, Russia or any other country is going to engage in attempted election interference, like that doesn't surprise me. But the brazenness of his statement is just, it's great. He also says something pretty weird and creepy. During our pinpoint operations, we will remove both kidneys and the liver at once. No, I know who this guy is. It's, it's obvious. Uh, he's a Hannibal Lecter. Uh, he wants to e e eat your liver with fafa beef. Um, so I just want to assume that it's something. It's like a something like a that it's like a Russian thing. Yeah, saying yeah, it could be I, or um, maybe not. I don't know. Who knows? Uh, okay, now look. There's the part of the story that I like, of course, is. Uh, him brazenly admitting it, uh, thereby ruining the propaganda of the Russian uh, agents here in America. So the Russian agents, uh, and you can find them in a lot of places on both ends of the spectrum, are like, no, the Russians are as pure as the driven snow. They would never interfere in any elections. Now, by the way, uh, we're always stuck in the middle because then corporate media is like, oh, Hillary Clinton would have won if it wasn't for those dastardly Russians, right? And that's just not true. Um, and so, uh, but are they doing interference? Of course, they have trolls. They have trolls everywhere. It's super obvious, right? I, I make a statement against Russia on air. I've got trolls all over my Twitter account the next day. I'm sure it's a wild coincidence, etc. You know, our, you know, every site gets hacked nonstop. Not necessarily hacked, but like attacks, etc. Right. You know, we're like we also have a tech team. You know, where it comes from, Eastern Europe and Russia. Okay, and then you uh, go talk to crazy right wingers and crazy theoretical left wingers, and they're like, "No, there, there is no Russia. You're imagining it." <laughs> okay, all right, but here's your Hannibal Lecter dude going like, "I'm gonna eat your kidneys and your livers, and I'm doing it every day, and I just hacked into your account." Right, so and then nobody look. This guy is super close to Putin. I mean, he's such a he's Putin's chef. Yeah, it's such a wonderfully creepy thing where like only Putin would have a chef who talks about taking in people's kidneys and livers and secretly runs a mercenary group. Okay, but I just love the way he worded it too. During our pinpoint operations, we will remove both kidneys and the liver at once. Which okay, seems yeah. like it would be a difficult pinpoint operation. Yeah, it seems like a lot of invasive stuff happening simultaneously. That's hard to pinpoint, or do accurately. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, but look, if anyone could do it, it's Putin's chef. Except for the fact that he doesn't exist. Neither no. does Russian propaganda. No, no, there is and no Russian neither does propaganda. Russia at all. I Russia think, doesn't even exist. I just think that you are a chauvinist. Okay, an anti-Russia chauvinist, Obviously. and you're engaging in McCarthyite smears. <laughs> Wait, no, but the great thing is, this Putin's best bud here, also doing McCarthyite smears. Because mm. <laughs> seriously, like no one in on the left, I, the right's a hopeless cause, but no one on the left who has criticized Russia has said anything harsher than this guy, one of the top allies of Putin. Like, if, right. like I I can see the reactions from. Trolls and bots and uh, and service attacks, etc. But I don't know for sure, and I always clarify: Hey, here's what we know, here's what we don't know. But this is the guy saying, "Yes, I'm doing it. Me and Putin are doing it on behalf of Russia. We're trying to destroy your democracy. Guaranteed. Go to gray zone or whatever right now. They're like, no way, no. He's uh, the greatest guy in the world. Plus a Ukrainian Nazi. Plus Jewish. Plus." A great chef, plus your kidney and livers are gone, but they never existed in the first place. Okay, so our <laughs> stage manager, who isn't even here right now, but happens to know everything because he's a human encyclopedia, says that the kidneys and liver are Congress, Senate, and the White House. So hmm. he's like, he's using, I guess, I don't know, a metaphor for uh, government. I, I don't suppose. Know. Anyway, okay. bottom line Good is this, by the way, uh, who are they supporting? 
uh, Republicans. They're supporting Republicans, right? So, and and it's not a surprise that half the Republican Party right now is saying Ukraine. Do we really need it? Do we really need it? Maybe we give it to Russia, right? And this guy's saying, yeah, we're doing operations to influence you guys. And we're, you know, and by the way, operations includes money, spending money, right? right. And supporting uh, people politically, right? And then curiously, half the Republican Party is raising their hands, going, "I love Russia. I hate Ukraine." Little help here. Yeah. I don't know. See, okay. So here's the thing. I mean, we're largely talking about what what both political sides, meaning voters, not people in positions of power, have to say about Russia and its influence or interference into our elections. Those people, regardless of whether we agree with them or disagree with them, are irrelevant, right? The important thing is to understand whether our government sees that risk and takes the necessary steps to protect our elections from interference from any nefarious actor. Whether it's Russia or some other country, it doesn't matter, right? The problem is when you have one party wanting to provide cover for the bad behavior of, of the Russian government or any government for that matter, then we're in a lot of trouble, right? And it happens to be the party that, that yells the most about our elections being vulnerable and, and stolen and this and that. No, they're not. They haven't provided a single shred of evidence. But it will be interesting to see how they respond to accusations of Russian interference moving forward. Now knowing that there's a Russian oligarch very close to Vladimir Putin, just flat out admitting it. Yeah, I'm so sick of the Republicans and I'm sick of everyone not recognizing that they're all frauds. They, I mean, Anna makes a great point. They're like, election fraud. Okay, first of all, give me a bill. Say it, do a rational bill that verifies elections. Progressives would love to verify elections. They're like, no, we don't want to verify elections. We just want to scream if we lost. Uh, okay, but that's not a thing, right? So, hey, Republican voters, you want to ask your Republican politicians, have you proposed the bill? What is your bill? You know, they can't propose a bill that says Trump should win every election, even if he gets no votes. You have to actually say, how do you want to verify elections? How do you want to protect elections? Okay, uh, we want to uh, make sure black people can't vote. No, God damn it, that isn't an election protection bill, okay? And so then you tell them, look, these Russians are bragging about how they're interfering with our elections. So let's make sure that we fund a way to protect, uh, whether it's voting mechanisms, et cetera, et cetera. And they're like, no, we don't want to protect it. Then what are you, what are you yeah. crying about? What are you talking about? So you don't want to do anything, you just want to have the Russians help you cheat. Yes, and, that is and what they then want. you have no constructive solutions at all. Correct. Yeah. That's right. So, okay, so I mean I mean I, Anna, especially in my lifetime, when I was growing up, Republicans were vicious to Democrats. Say, I give you oh yeah, why do you go back to motherland? Russia. Oh, you left us a Russian lovers, right? Now the Republicans have turned around going, we love Russia. How dare you people on the left criticize our beloved homeland, Russia. Well, now it's unbelievable. It's unbelievable. It's Alice in Wonderland. I know. Well, now Big Daddy Putin is in charge and they love it. And yeah. so, yeah. And, and so, anyway, we'll see how it all plays out. Super uh, I'm, last I'm thing. Hopeful. Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> Super last thing. So, like, you got any tyrant that's interfering in, in our elections, uh, et cetera. Uh, so let's say uh, the uh, Mohammed bin Salman, right? Uh, the dictator in Saudi Arabia. Like, nobody would say, oh, no, it's no big deal. Oh, yeah, sure, the Saudis, of course, should mess with our elections and the Saudis should pick who, who we're going to uh, elect. Nobody would say that. And, but all of a sudden, when it's Russia, you have all these people around on the right and the people pretending to be on the left, like Tulsi Gabbard, et cetera, go, no, 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 no. Russia should be allowed to interfere. Plus, they're not interfering. But if they were, it would be awesome. You're telling me they're not backing Russia for financial reasons? Okay, maybe they're weirdly like, it's a fetish for them. Like, oh, Putin, I love Putin. Okay, maybe, but probably it is financial interests mm -hmm. that have gotten them to totally and utterly sell out our country. So there I said it, go cry about it. I mean, financial interests tend to be the number one reason why politicians from both parties sell out our country, so I wouldn't be surprised, yeah. Thanks for watching The Young Turks, really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more, there's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR, so those are super fun. But you also get 
playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video. Thank you.